up hills and ridges The backside company, the ones who made bridges Big up the place and left with in the ditches Ditches, yes ditches Cutting down the trees, that's deforestation No more food to feed the nation What a civil discharge, what a devastation Devastation, yes devastation Climate change is a serious thing Animals migrate, no bees to sting Water resources depleting Death, injury, even for me Death, injury, even for me we know that climate change is a huge issue in the world today and it is very serious. I have young kids and I want to ensure that we leave a world for them that they get, who can enjoy. If they really love us as children, they would be trying to help us exactly to have what we need in the future. When they use all the resources from now, what are they leaving for us? Jamaica will turn into a wasteland. We're here to support not mining in the proper countries. Mining so close to the coming country in the first place. This will have some kind of impact on the water sources. To so man in the coming country is basically destroying our history because the coming country has played a vital role not only with the, the nature but also to just give us a sense of hope for what is already there. I don't think they're thinking about the, like the wildlife and like the varieties of plants and animals that are only found in the cockpit country because they're native to Jamaica and we, if we like, if we let them get extinct, there's no getting them back. There are the trees on the country, country, and the trees are very much important to the environment because they provide homes and habitats for animals. So when the hurricanes come, they slow the winds of the hurricanes so we get less of an impact from these hurricanes. I grew up in the mining area and I've seen what mining has done for Jamaica and it's absolutely nothing. As based on the research, we have about 30 years of bauxite left in the island. And when we do this, what are we going to use when we're older? And I can tell you that I cannot speak of one community that I've seen where we can say definitively that mining has made that community better. Cockpit country. Let me tell about the cockpit country. Forest area up in Trelawney. Spread us into Manchester. In this country, cockpit country. Up to 40% of the water that it comes from. See the animal plants and fruit, yum yum. Up in the hills, the maroons, them high. 7,000 people, yes, and that's where them reside. Cockpit country. Let me tell about the cockpit country. Pretty place there, up in Trelawney. So we call travel learn more with history. Yes, yeah, cockpit country. Let me tell about the cockpit country. Let me tell about the cockpit country. Everybody, cockpit country. Let me tell about the cockpit country. <laughs> cockpit country. Let me tell about the cockpit country. Is somebody in the back, not you? Yes. Yes. Is somebody in the back? Do you know what I said? No. Tell me now. Should we now proceed to mining in one of the last few reserved areas left in this country? I can tell that what we'll have is significant damage and zero benefit either to the people or this country. I guess we can approach them with the facts of what is there or give it from our perspective. Tell them what is there and tell, just explain to them that if they do something like this, it's basically destroying our future. Remember the, the things that are causing climate change and the role that you can play. When we burn bushes, when we burn garbage, 
from cut down trees, which is one of the main reasons why we can't have mining in a concrete country. If to mine in a concrete country, they will be removing over 3,000 acres of trees. Do you know the impact on climate change? So then, every time you cut down one tree, you are removing the ability of the tree to take out, to suck out the, the carbon dioxide and the gases of the atmosphere. That's the function of the trees. It retains the water in the sun. We have to keep our trees. What we can do to get the youth more involved is to bring them more into the environment so let them see what's around them, let them embrace their culture, let them embrace the diversity that we have here because Jamaica is very special. You like the view. Have you ever taken the time out to look on the view that Jamaica has? It is mountainous, it is so detailed and when you look at all things that you can find here. Like for it is example, really mesmerizing. In the, like in the sky in the evenings when the sun is yes, getting, it is extremely beautiful. Yes. I am absolutely terrified. I wouldn't say worried. Um, and I believe that anyone who cares about this this world, anyone who cares about our future, uh, even whether we are young or old, then we have to be concerned about where we are going um, in terms of climate. Just basic things as a nature walk, it can really bring people over on our side to let them see that this is what you're destroying, this is what you're not going to have in the future. What are you going to show your children? You're going to tell them a story that you don't really believe in yourself as to that. What, why, didn't, why didn't I not protect this so my child can see it for themselves, not just hear of it in the end of the day? We need to look on ourselves and think about how we're going to put our youth to embrace their culture.